Welcome to the Journey Today Show. My name is Casey. And I'm David. Oh, man. I love these peeps. They're so good. In fact, I love everything about Easter. I love the jelly beans. I love the Cadbury eggs. I love the chocolate bunnies. David, all of those things are Easter candies. Uh, all of them. There's so much more to Easter than just the candy. Uh, you mean like the Easter egg hunts? No, I mean like the death and resurrection of Jesus. Oh man, I, I know you're right. It's just so easy to get distracted by the eggs and the candy. It's easy to forget that Easter is really a celebration of the most amazing miracle that has ever happened. Hey, I have an idea. I think one of the best ways to remember and celebrate what happened on the first Easter ever is to read the story straight from the Bible. So let's do this. In just a second, press pause on the video. Then open your Bible and read the verses on the screen. When you're finished, press play and we'll see you back here. Isn't that amazing? Jesus had been killed on a cross for telling people that he was the son of God. Then three days later, he proved it. Jesus rose from the dead. Yeah, and in John chapter eight, Jesus refers to himself as the light of the world. It's kind of like the devil was trying to blow that light out, but he just couldn't do it. That's right. And you know what? That also gives me an idea for a challenge. Take a look at this. Here's how this competition is going to work. We each have five candles and a party blower. We've got to blow out all of our candles with the party blower. Now, the first person to blow out all five of their candles is the winner. So what do you think? Let's do this. Okay, in three, two, one, go. I see that you have one candle still lit and all five or mine makes are out. No sense. Yes. No sense. I oh, had it. Oh man. Hey, hey, hey. I actually have a confession. That is called a trick candle. It's a magic relight candle. It doesn't what? matter how many times you blow what? this candle out, it comes back on. David. I know, I know. I am so sorry, but I did it for a reason. You see, this relight candle gives us the perfect picture of what happened during the very first Easter. Let me show you what I mean. Like you said before, Casey, Jesus called himself the light of the world. In our story for today, Jesus' enemies killed him on a cross. It's kind of like they blew the light of the world out. <sighs> but did it stay out? No way, because after three days in the tomb, Jesus, the light of the world, came back to life, just like this candle. And you know what? That's what Easter is really all about. It's not about the cute little bunnies or the Easter egg hunts or, I hate to say it, even the candy. Easter is about celebrating the light that came back to life. It's about celebrating that Jesus was dead, but now he's alive. Right, but that's not all though. Because if you're a follower of Jesus, you're kind of like this candle too. In fact, that's what our Bible verse for today says. Let's take a look at it. Christ has been raised from the dead, 
by the Father's glory. And like Christ, we also can live a new life. Romans 6, 4. When God raised Jesus from the dead, he raised us from the dead too. Now, some of you might be thinking, hold on, I don't remember being dead. Well, I hate to break it to you, but you were. Not for real dead, not dead in, in a grave. The Bible says that before you followed Jesus, you were spiritually dead. It's kind of like the light in your heart had been blown out and you were living away from God, surrounded by the darkness of your sin. But did it stay out? No way. When Jesus came back to life on that first Easter morning, he defeated sin. Now, if you follow Jesus, your sins are forgiven. The light in your heart burns bright for Jesus and you have a new life in him. You know what? That makes me think of a question. What can you do this Easter to remember and celebrate what Jesus did for you? Press pause and discuss. Welcome back, everybody. On Easter, we get to celebrate two miracles. Jesus came back to life, and so did you. You were once dead in your sins, but now, thanks to Jesus, you are alive in Him. And that's a real Easter miracle. Amen. Happy Easter, everybody. We'll see you again next week. Yeah. Bye, everybody. More peeps, more peeps. <laughs>